वेलकम बैक टू आर इस्तानबुल स्पेशल एपिसोड एज यू नो इस्तानबुल इज नोन फॉर इट्स वेरी रिच आर्ट एंड कल्चर फिल्म फेस्टिवल इज़ वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर हियर एंड गेस वॉट वीव गॉट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट टैलेंटेड एंड वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर एक्ट्रेस ऑफ दिस रीजन विथ अस राइट नाउ आई एम सो ग्लैड टू हैव यू ऑन द शो आई मीन थैंक यू एंड ट्रस्ट हाई लाइफ दुबई फॉर दिस वी आर मीटिंग मेलतेम जुम्बुल <laughs> I got I got that right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Pam, tell tell me about yourself. Tell our viewers about yourself. I mean, you've done some very powerful acting and also very bold. I mean, tell us tell us about your acting career. Uh, I started when I was 21, and I graduated from conservatory, and now I'm 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 a teacher <laughs> in my university, <laughs> and uh, it's been so many years that. Uh, um um acting like being to me is not is acting is not exist is being statement <laughs> um and i can express myself uh in in acting uh in this life really so i love it i really love it and i did 15 uh, movies and features and and five television shows and uh, you've won so many um so many awards i mean your movie has gone uh, to oscars i mean tell tell us about the experience um that movie is called love lorn it was a wonderful experience uh we did promotion for our movie and i i've got so many awards from america as well with that movie Uh, and I love that movie because I love the director and the writer is the same person. His name is Yavuz Turgul and and he's an amazing. He's a legend in Turkey, and I'm such a lucky actress to work with him. Tell us about India. You've recently done an Indian movie with Isha Deol and Rishi Kapoor. What's the story and how did you uh, you know get into the Indian movie industry? Uh, about four 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 years ago, I was in Goa Film Festival as a jury member. and and my movie love lorn was there too and after uh after the screening uh, i had a press conference and and in the press conference they asked me if i'd like to do a, make make, a, make an indian movie and i said i'd love i'd love to but who who would you choose me i don't know i mean i don't speak in hindi and uh, i mean i'm not an indian you know girl uh and four years later on they found me and they wanted to work with me so i was i was really so surprised after meeting meltem and getting a taste of turkish cinema i had the pleasure of meeting of the most popular film producers mine vargi in 1968 i was miss turkey it was well, yeah this is the beginning of my career in this uh, entertainment business show business and i decided to be a producer and i'm working in my company and i mean nearly third, more than 30 years and i produce seven feature film and the two times they submitted my film to the oscar as we were walking the streets of istanbul we've come across this very interesting space and guess what i am in a boutique uh, that's very very um, enchanting i must say i've not seen a space like this in a long long time and uh, i'm with the designer here he's a local designer his name is jamil jamil so so nice to meet you and so nice to have you on the show nice to meet you and you're welcome to my country and my street because It's like my village because I have my atelier here, I have my house here, I have my workshop here. So I'm living like my own village. That's great. Uh, tell us about your design philosophy. Your boutique looks amazing. I mean there's so many things here. Probably we need one day to, you know, actually uh, notice everything. Yes, there is one thing only. I am the first designer of Turkey. I finished my school Academy Royal Academy of Art in Belgium. and yeah he returned to 71 to turkey and there was no designer since you've been in the industry for so long you're the first turkish designer tell us how fashion has grown in this city i mean in this city when i begin i was very lonely uh, it took at least 15 years i was lonely because you know that in the turkey the fashion was only copying the europe things you know 
they were copying, they were making exactly the one thing. But then after 10 years after, I begin to have the students also. And uh, I had uh, now 387 awards. And I begin to have the awards from Europe. And uh, so when I begin to have the awards from the Europe, the Turkish people, they just said, you know, oh, he's right. He have the awards with the Turkish fabric, Indian fabric, so he's right. And now the fashion, if you will see, I was the right person because all over the world they are using the Oriental things and the Anatolian and the Indian and the Arabic things. So I was the right one because now even the biggest fashion designers, they are using and you know this culture. So now there is very, very successful designers, young designers. Jamil was also assigned the honor of designing uniform for their national carrier and our official airline sponsor, Turkish Airlines. Our unforgettable journey through Turkey would not have been possible without the invaluable partnership of Turkish Airlines, the national airline of Turkey, flying to over 150 destinations worldwide, serving a total of 160 airports with a young and modern fleet. Turkish Airlines is the fastest growing airline in Europe, offering great hospitality and high standards of service, only aiming higher and higher. The airline offers unmatched in-flight luxury and comfort, making our journey smooth and pleasurable. A big thank you to the entire team of Turkish Airlines for their esteemed alliance. Bosphorus is also known as the Istanbul Strait as it's a channel that forms part of the boundary between Europe and Asia. It is the world's narrowest strait used for international navigation and connects the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara. So a cruise along the beautiful Bosphorus is something no visitor to Istanbul should miss. We can feast our eyes on the southern Bosphorus, which is from the city center to the Bosphorus Bridge, and the northern Bosphorus, which is from the bridge to the Black Sea. Gliding over the calm waters, I took in all the beauty of Istanbul. The very monuments that I visited by the day looked dazzling by night, sitting so peacefully and observing the city in front of me. It was my way of saying bye-bye to Istanbul, a place I grew to love so very much. All good things come to an end, and just like my trip to Istanbul, High Life Dubai Season 5 has come to an end too. I'll take this opportunity and say a big thank you to all you lovely viewers for giving life to High Life Dubai. We'll be back soon after a short break. Till then, you can keep in touch with me via Twitter, Facebook, or write to me on Uma at highlifedubai.ae. If you miss us too much, you can watch all our previous episodes on YouTube. Till then, Alvida, see you, bye, God bless. Travel on, oh traveler, don't stop now on your path. If you falter, don't look back. Move on and make that start. No matter how the journey is, keep your spirits high and watch how happiness comes to you as each day goes by. Keep smiling and keep believing in your dreams. Alvida, Dubai, till we meet again.